I think when you grow up with dysfunctional parents or in a dysfunctional environment, you basically are shipwrecked out at sea and you don't know how to swim. You don't know how to fend for yourself. You don't know how to, to create and sustain healthy relationships. You don't know the basics about how to plan a, a career, get your education, save money, uh, self-organize, uh, feed yourself well, uh, how to get exercise, how to uh, you know, uh, organize your life fundamentally, how to set boundaries with people in relationships, how to avoid bad people, how to embrace good people, and how to have a... Um, how to plan a career, uh, you know, how to defer gratification. So I think what happens is the ship of childhood goes down. You know, the whole point of, of I think, parenting in, in the long run is to teach your kids how to swim when the ship of childhood goes down, because it's going to go down. And then they're going to have to swim to whatever beautiful island they want to spend their adult life on. And so if you can't swim when the ship goes down, and there's lots of stuff floating in the water, what do you do? What you do is you grab whatever floats, right? Because you can't swim. It literally is sink or swim. And to me, codependency is, I can't swim. My ship of childhood has gone down and I have to grab whatever floats because I don't know how to swim. And if you don't know how to swim, you can't swim anywhere. You can't go in any particular direction. If all you can do is hang on to some big-ass barrel that's floating in the water, where do you go? Well, you float wherever the hell that barrel goes, and I guess afterwards you call it a plan. And so, for me, codependency simply means I don't know how to live. And so, I need to cling to someone to avoid the horrible knowledge that I don't know how to live and what that means about my upbringing and my history and, and sadly my future, right? Because until we learn how to do that, we're just going to have to cling to people not out of love, but out of a desperate desire to avoid drowning and even worse, to avoid the knowledge that we spent 18 years on a ship and nobody ever taught us how to swim when they knew that ship was going down. And so, to me, the, the way to deal with codependency is to learn how to swim. It's very painful for us to realize how little we have been prepared by dysfunctional parents for an independent, productive, and happy adulthood. You understand? It's really painful. Because basically, the way it looks, the way it looked like to me, and I know this wasn't the case, but the way it looked like to me, was, you know, the ship was going down, and everybody was eager to jump into the water and start swimming to their fabulous exotic islands to live out their wonderful lives. They were all like, hey, I can't wait. I got my swimsuit on. I'm limbered up. I covered up and down with duck butter and I'm good to go. Whereas I was like, oh shit, I'm not ready. I don't, I don't know how to swim. And it was weird because I, I didn't know how to swim. Ship was going down and nobody else seemed to care that I didn't know how to swim. And so me, a couple of other people who didn't know how to swim at these terrible childhoods, we just hung on to these barrels, these logs, treading water, hoping there weren't sharks. Not just, I don't know where the hell to go. I guess the current's going this way, so I'm going this way. And what was so painful to me was seeing all the other people swimming off to their islands with, with, with firm, confident, happy strokes because they knew how to swim and they knew what they wanted. I didn't know how to swim. I didn't know what I wanted. And so it's very painful to compare ourselves to functional people and realize the horrifying deficiencies that we've been left with. But I think that's why dysfunctional people avoid functional people, because it's just so painful to realize the deficiencies in our, in our upbringing.